when we as Christians go to Israel, we are celebrated and treated like the most amazing you could ever imagine. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm checking out what is the justification for supporting Israel? Hmm. This is going to be an interesting topic. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hey, Charlie. Um, I, I'm Sam. I've been here for, I've been with TPUSA for a couple of years, and I've been paying attention to most of your stances on stuff. I agree with 90% of them, similar to another guy before me, except one. And that particular stance... I guess it's think, Israel. Yes, it is Israel. Yeah. You're right. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. How, who could have possibly told you? Anyway, that being said... I know, you're, you're, I just guess. I, you ah, know, yes. You're, you're, yeah. Yes, that is true. But anyway, that being said, I just want to know, like, uh, you're, you're, you're a Christian. You are my fellow brother in the Lord. Um, I'm just wondering, what is, what is the justification for supporting Israel when we can see them we can see them persecuting Christians in their own land. Okay, so you're coming after this in good faith. I want to know, uh, just curious, what is your, are you Catholic, are you Protestant, are you? I am not of a denomination. Okay, are you, but you are Christian? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I, I figured by the Christ is King shirt. Can, can you add more specificity by what you mean uh, treating Christians poorly? Can, can you tell me what you mean? Usually it's sort of, usually it's abuse, like be, being spit on when they're, when they're out in public, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. So yeah, so I mean, I, like the, the spitting is a real thing by certain very radical Hasidic sects. Have you ever been to Israel? No, I'm okay. just, I'm just so curious. Let me just contribute this as a fellow brother in Christ. When we as Christians go to Israel, we are celebrated and treated like the most amazing you could ever imagine, okay? So... <laughs> I, I'm positive that there are radical, you know, um, Hasidic sects that believe certain things as, you know, are written in parts of the Talmud where they have, you know, anti-Christian beliefs. That is not my experience with mainline, you know, Israeli belief or mainline Judaism. Um, and I will say this, why do I like Israel so much? I'm biased because Israel changed my life. When I went to Israel, I was reading Bible stories my whole life as a committed Christian. And all of a sudden, I had a life-changing experience. I went to see a Galilee. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not a fairy tale. That's where Jesus walked on water. I went to the old city. I said, that's where Christ our Lord rose from the dead. I went to the Garden of Gethsemane. I said, that's where Christ our Lord was betrayed. I went to Hebron. I said, that's the hall of the patriarchs where I can see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It demythologized the Bible for me. And it convicted me in the clearest possible terms that the Bible is real, the Bible is true, and it showed, it, it made it come to life for me. And I, I love your heart. I don't want to see any Christians treated poorly. For the record, I tweeted out against the Israeli government when they bombed a church in Gaza. You can look at it. It's very public. I do not put up with the uh, persecution of holy sites, and I, I stand up for my religion. But I will say this, that I've always been treated very decently and very well when I went to Israel, and access to my holy sites and access to the archaeological truth of the Bible is something that I believe is not just a good for America, but for the world. And being able to prove that the Bible is true, be able to see that the little coins of King Hezekiah, to be able to go to Mount Carmel and see like, oh my goodness, that's where Elijah threw it down with King Ahab. To be able to go to Mount Sinai and say, that is where God delivered the greatest moral app you know, in human history, the Decalogue, right, that the Western civilization is built upon. So we might not agree on everything. That's why I have the heart for Israel. It changed my life, and I encourage you to go and visit and see it for yourself. God bless. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Guys, this is actually an amazing discussion, and I sleep here in a kind of way, but I honestly haven't visited Israel, but my mom has, and it was actually, she said it was an amazing experience because she moved brought Sandy back home because she was like, Bro, Jesus actually walked on this place. I had to just pick up the sun. And it was crazy, but like, I honestly believe that it's an amazing experience for you to go and see things that you have read. Now you're seeing it. Like, it's gonna be wild. Like, I feel I'm gonna be crying throughout the trip because, bro, it's a lot. And the thing about it is when, when you believe in something with your heart and more like, yeah, gaining confirmation and you are happy that it's happening bro i i i can just think about how i will feel but i still believe that this fight with israel and palestine i i won't say israel and palestine i'll be like the fight with israel and hamas should actually stop because it's actually heartbreaking because a lot of people are not 
a lot of people don't participate in it. A lot of Brazilians don't participate in it. Like, it just people caught up in some people's bullshit and it's affecting a lot of lives and it's heartbreaking. Seriously, it's heartbreaking. Like, if you see Gaza before and Gaza now, bro, I, I can't believe students stopped school because of stuff like this. Families love, lost their properties. Like, it, it's heartbreaking. Like, no one should feel or go through that pain. Like, no one should. I really can't even think about it. Like, me trying to think about the pain people are feeling. Like, I just don't know. Think about it because I might tear up. But, can I tell you what you think about this? Like, do you think we should support each? I honestly believe they were not the first to instigate the war. So, the war actually started October 7th. Even if people say the war have been death since, but like, we all know that the war actually started. The shooting of <laughs> started October 7th and it's heartbreaking. But tell me what you think about us. Do you support Israel? Do you support Palestinians? Guys, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.